We are going to take a look at the main differences between Cas OS and Zima OS and see which is the best system to install on your NAS or home server. I do have the Zima Cube Pro, Zima Board and Zima Blade here, but as we have seen in previous videos, you can install on any computer that you have and start playing around. If you haven't watched those videos, I will leave some links down below. Zima OS is an evolution of Casa OS and there are a few differences between them. Some of them are very obvious, some of them not. Today we are going to focus on the main ones, although there are a lot of differences. If we look at the interface, it is very similar. If you have used Casa OS before, then switching to Zima OS is seamless. Both systems are straightforward enough that even if you haven't tried Casa OS before, you can easily just start using without any issues whatsoever. Actually, Casa OS or Zima OS. Now, if we look at the App Store, both share the same store, which I love. I said this in many videos, and this will be one of them as well to add up. So the App Store is just great. It will provide us the simplest and most visually appealing way to run Docker, one of my favorites. We can install services on our own service and installing an app is easy as just clicking one button. Of course, there are also other installation methods available for more advanced users, but this one is the easiest. In the settings menu, if we take a look at Casa OS options, the menu is simpler compared to Zima OS, particularly in the storage management. Zima OS offers more detailed controls, for instance with Zima Cube Pro we set up a RAID 5 with 6 Toshiba N300 drives and RAID 1 and RAID 0 configurations with 2TB Sabrent drives. If this was on Casa OS the management would not be so easy and the information would not be as cool as it is. Now there is one app which is installed on Zima OS which is peer drop. And this makes sharing files between multiple devices on the same network really easy. We just need to install the clients on Windows or Mac and we can just drag and drop files to the connected machine. Virtual Machines is a standout feature of Zima OS. If we look at the Zima Virtual Machine, it enables quick and easy virtual machine installation. And during my tests on the Zima Cube Pro, I did install Ubuntu, Zorin OS, Debian and Windows 10 Lit and the experience has been great. For those that enjoy testing out operating systems without dedicating physical machines, this is a great option. Now, having in mind that this will depend on the hardware that we have. So, in the Zima Cube Pro, we have an i5 CPU, 64 gigabytes of RAM in this particular case, and also 48 terabytes of storage. So, I have got plenty of headroom in terms of hardware to have multiple devices or multiple virtual machines running at the same time. If we use, for example, a Zima board or a Zima Blade, we will be more limited. So for example, I could only run one of those at the full potential. File management on both systems are very similar in appearance and also in functionality when managing files. We can connect external drives, we can connect network drives or even link cloud services like Google Drive. The user management on Casa OS is non existent. But on Zima OS it includes a basic version of user management. In my opinion it needs to be developed a bit more so that we have more tools in terms of the management of users but at this time we are able to create users and then we can also decide which folders, which shares each user will have access and this is great if we want to organize teamwork for example and if I want to have a team member to access this folder set and another team accessing this folder set so I can decide all that which is really useful as well. And if you are watching this video on Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. In my opinion if you are looking for a really simple solution to install on your hardware or then get some of this hardware 
for example, to have your home server slash Nash, and your main goal is to be able to have access to a platform that will allow you to install apps such as AdGuard Home, Pyahole, and all that in a really easy way, just clicking a button, then CasaOS will do all that without any issues, as we have seen before in several videos. On the other hand, if you are looking for all that, but on top of that, also the ability to have file management, user management, and a few more things like virtual machines and a few more features, then Zima OS is the best choice. And we also have another way of looking into things, which is, okay, so I'm not really sure which one should I go. Just have in mind that Zima OS is Casa OS, but on top of Casa OS, it also has all those features that we have seen and a lot more that we haven't seen that are under the wood and probably some of them just will be used by some more advanced users. And that being said, hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If possible, leave down below in the comment section if you have used Casa OS or Zim OS and if you enjoyed it or if it's not the operating system for you. As always, my name is Peter George and I'll see you on the next one.